Hello everyone, I've got that. just something to tell about the haters, about the reforming the car I'm doing. Why will we trust this repair or why will we wanna try this repair? The reason I do is because it's cheap. That's the first point. The second point, proper reporting the car is the point where you take it off your GPU die, you take it off and after that you put a new one in. You know how much this cost? It's unbelievable too much. Or uh, if you can get some different card with the GPU and you can properly reboot ink, it costs too much. Yeah, for me it costs too much and I don't see the reason to do it. That's why the I do style just reflow or reheat or uh, whatever you wanna call just read the GPU and yeah, I, from my experience, I got like plenty of experience with this a card is working sometimes for one day, sometimes for three months and even I got a card which is working after four years and still works that's not a problem, that means don't be a hater, this solution is good and even if nothing happened, you not broken your card, you can still use it it doesn't matter if you hit. yeah, trust me, I caught it done it and no problem at all. That means reflowing and repairing car like I do, just have a look on my channel, you got plenty of videos about this, yes, and I've got a video about this 1080 Ti, how I fix it as well. Yeah, trust me, it's working and it's not a problem at all. That's just only little update, like why you will be sure, why you will be trust this repair or why you will be wanna try this repair. Yeah, that's the pro that's the point. Just try it, nothing to lose. But remember, first, if your car is in warranty, send it back to manufacturer. If your car uh, have a different problem, try first everything else before you try open it and reheat it. And I mean like software, BIOS or stuff like that. Yeah. But if you got a problem, no signal, error 43 or whatever you have, any problem artifacting you can still try to read the GPU, but I'll be buy the cheapest heat gun ever you can buy it. It's still better than put on the oven because you heat just under the part you need it. That means you don't need to heat the old GPU when you take it off. Yeah, remember that uh, you don't need heat all card. You just need to heat the main chip and maybe some RAMs module. That's that's it. And for this you need a heat gun, don't use the oven. Okay, if you don't have an added solution, you can try with the oven, but that's the way I never recommend. Uh, just use the heat gun and don't forget to use the flux. Uh, flux is stuff we're putting around, uh, especially the liquid flux is the best one uh, because it can go under and once you hit it, the flux will be underneath and the reason why I use the flux is that uh, once the solder point melted down that flux uh, make it like doesn't make a short underneath uh, that's uh, what's the reason I use the flux yeah and the temperature use, uh, I use 290 to 320 you can even use the more I sometimes I got a car where I use like 400 celsius and after that actually works that means don't don't be scary use even more but my recommendation is 290 celsius that's the point and speed point i like it and time 10 minutes 10 minutes for the gpu five minutes hitting up five minutes very very near from on the video that means brilliant after that just cooling down the car take it uh, put everything together and car should start working and if not that maybe some different problem but don't forget if your card is short check on offset or power or something like that this is not about this this is just about if you got like no signal problem and it really can help you this hopefully you understand what I said and why I do a repair like this uh, don't forget to click like uh, share my channel and if you got any question yeah don't be hesitate to write a comment i'm still still uh try answering every single comment you write it down yeah that's the my channel stay tuned and click subscribe see you on my other video